Hey guys and gals, it's uh, Jim here. And the uh, last couple days now since the Missouri, uh, other than some rigging and attaching some flags, uh, is pretty much finished. Um, I decided I'm going to get back to uh, some uh, more details on the um, uh, Academy 600 scale uh, Enterprise aircraft carrier. And uh, basically what I got done, I got all the um, lifeboat uh, barrels painted uh, flat white. Uh, the top set of phalanx guns there, I still haven't attached the barrels. Uh, I'll do that uh, towards one of the last things. Uh, they're they're pretty, uh, pretty delicate and stuff, so I don't want to break them off. Um, I got all the antenna that go along the side. That'll be one of the last details I add once everything else is finished up. Um, I got all my deck work done. Um, I did order, um, some aftermarket decals. Um, like I said, the, the white and then the white and yellow stripe down the center of the landing area, uh, that was all messed up and painted. Um, the kit came with the yellow outlines for the, uh, blast shields and that, that, uh, come up when the planes take off. Uh, those are kit supplied. Um, other than that, uh, they, they uh, came with a few decals for the, um, uh, the island, the superstructure. Um, it came with the, uh, those little square decal, decals. Those are, um, uh, places where they have electrical connections and stuff and that. So, um, the kit supplied ones, they weren't even nowhere close to being correct. So, um. Basically, I use the aftermarket ones for those, uh, and they give you a nice placement guide and stuff where they go. The um, little yellow and red stripes around the uh, elevators, those came with the aftermarket decals. Um, I basically had to kind of cut them. They're, they're very, they're, they're like thread-like. They're so so thin and delicate and stuff, so I, I cut them in sections and applied them and stuff and um, all that. Um, the red and white, uh, all the red and white stripes that you see, those are the uh, aftermarket. The kit didn't come with none of those, and that would have been a real pain. They're about the diameter, at the width of um, a piece of uh, regular sewing, average sewing thread and stuff. So um, those are all uh, uh, aftermarket and stuff. And uh, basically, I just uh, used some pictures of the actual uh, Enterprise looking downward in aerial view for um, getting them placed right and stuff. Um, other than that, uh, that's all pretty much finished up. I gave it the first coat of uh, flat sealer, and I'll probably give it one more coat to tone everything down. I will do some weathering to tone down those white um, landing area stripes and all that, you know, kind of make, kind of make it look like, you know, there's some wear and, and so, stuff like that. The same with the catapult. Um, uh, areas and stuff. I'll tone those down a little bit with some weathering to darken them up and blend them in a little bit more and that uh, just so they don't pop as much, you know, and look so bright. But uh, uh, the island I'll be working on, um, try to add a little bit of basic rigging on there. I got a couple more um, details I want to add photo etch to, uh, railing and stuff and all that. But um, that's what I've had going on, those two yellow triangle things. Those are the aftermarket kit parts um, and all that. So, um, yeah, it's uh, coming along pretty good. The decals, those little fine decals, they were a real pain and stuff. Try to get them pretty straight and all that. Um, they're close enough for me. They 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 do add to the ship a lot, a lot more than uh, not having them on there. The same with the outlines. There's no way I was going to paint little red and yellow dots for those outlines and stuff. So, um, I, I use the aftermarket decals for that stuff and everything, like I said. So, um, but I'm pretty happy so far with the way it's turning out. Uh, and all, they got uh, other little detailed decals over there that came with the aftermarket, the, uh, um, the catapult, uh, pit there's a little pit where a guy is down in there and stuff controls the catapults and stuff there's some more down in down in this area and stuff like that so yeah she's coming along pretty good and everything uh those little little fine decals go around the elevators those are real tedious to work with and stuff and all that and um took some time let them set and then uh as i went i coated them coated over them with a flat coat to uh, keep them in place and that and that uh get them messed up when I was working on uh, other areas and stuff like that so but she's coming along pretty good 
still got a ways to go and once I finish up the uh, the island the superstructure and all that um, and then I'll start working on the planes get those painted up and decal there's only a few decals the uh, US Navy uh, emblem and then there's actually lettering Navy that go on them and stuff so I'll get working on those I don't know if I'm gonna use them all or, or that there are just a few of them here and there comes with some um, vehicles you know fire rescue vehicles a crane crane stuff like that I'll probably place those on the deck and stuff and you know I'll see as things move along and stuff what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do how many uh, of the uh, air wing planes I'm gonna use and stuff like that so but anyway uh, the, those are aftermarket too and uh, they were a bit a bit more stretched out so I had to cut down down about a third down down in this here area and squeeze in and shorten them up and everything so those came out real nice because there is actually molded uh raised lines for the 65 um older versions were painted solid and stuff these were just white outlines on this newer version um and with the aftermarket decals they give you different decals for from the beginning when the enterprise first started out with that uh, beehive uh, top radar array on it to this here version and newer versions because it went several different um refits and re rebuilts through its life history and stuff and this was the only one that had a different um island configuration than all the other um nimitz class carriers and stuff those had uh, different type of islands on them enterprise was the only one that had the unique square one with the um, a different configuration but it went went through many different changes as far as the different radar and things like that and stuff so um i don't know exactly what year this one represents but uh it's um i like it a lot cooler than that one with the beehive on the top and stuff so but anyway um a lot too those little um all those little tie down and little white dots that you see a lot of guys do all over the deck and make it look like it's got the measles um a lot of the photographs that I downloaded, they don't have those on, on a lot of the newer versions and stuff. So I'm not going to be going around with a toothpick and that and all those little tie down uh, rings on there and stuff. So, um, I mean, they're there, they're visible. You can, you can see where they're at and stuff. Um, but I, I prefer it just like it is this way and stuff. And a lot of the photos that I downloaded, loaded on this here, this here version and, um, Newer versions didn't have those. They were just, uh, you know, pretty much omitted and stuff. So um, I'm going that route with that and um, all that. So, but that's what I got done so far. Still got a ways to go. But uh, un un uh, once this is done, then I'll get back to doing the rigging on the Missouri, attaching some flags to it. And uh, we'll call her done deals. Uh, in the meantime, I know I tossed one of them out. Because I wasn't going to use them, and they're pretty cheap quality. These are the stands that come with the two models. The way they're made, they don't even conform to the hull or nothing like that. They're pretty flimsy. Uh, the mounting plates, oh, I did uh, do, do the Enterprise one on each side and all that, just like I did on the Missouri. These, I just uh, sprayed them flat black, then I took a real fine file. And uh, went over the top to uh, remove the black over the lettering and stuff. Um, I wish they didn't have the 600 scale. I wish it was something, uh, uh, you know, Enterprise, USS Enterprise aircraft carrier or something like that. But uh, anyway, um, that's what you get. So I mounted the two, uh, two, two uh, plaques on there and stuff like that. I just used a uh, five-minute epoxy, you know, and all that. So, um uh, but yeah, those are the stands. Like I said, they're cheap quality. Maybe you can use this for some kind of uh, paint stand. I'm going to save it. Maybe for like uh, if I ever do a car model or I, I got something big I can set on there if I want to do some paint work or something. But uh, other than that, um, they're uh, they're kind of kind of cheap quality and stuff, and I really didn't care for them. So um, that's going to do it for this video. I just thought I'd come back with this update, show you what I got done so far the last couple uh, days and all that. And um, just a lot of time consuming with them decals. I mean, they're, like I said, uh, they're, uh, they're very, they're very fine and thin and everything. So um, 
Anyway, I forget the company I ordered them from. So, but anyway, I think it was Starfighter or something like that. Um, I just looked up on Google uh, and that and uh, came across them. So, um, I forgot the place I even ordered them from. But anyway, um, oh, it might have been from, I might have ordered them from Sprue Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it. So um, I want to thank everybody for following along with both of these builds on the Missouri and the Enterprise. And I'll probably do another update in a couple of days when I get some more work done on this and all that. So um, I want to thank all my subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks for all the great comments you guys have been leaving me. Uh, thanks for uh, hitting the like button and uh all that and uh, everybody stay safe out there take care have a good one have a great rest of the week and weekend and we'll talk to you soon with another update on uh both of these ship builds so till the next time take care bye